Hi, this is Manish Pandey. In this video, we'll talk about date function. Let me show you here. So here we have created a page for date function. And I'm going to call this page here in the main page so that we can directly access. So we can read the data from Excel file and then we can process that. So we'll take here page stage. And now we are going to create a reference of this date page. Now we have created a reference here. Example, I'm going to take this data the centric data solutions here we have an order date so to work with the date function we need a date so we have this order date that we are going to take so let me close this now one thing i'm going to do here we have this collection data and and i want to pass this data directly to this date page so i'm going to double click on this start and let me click on add and here i'm going to uh, take an input of order date not collection so I'm going to put here orders date and in the data type I am going to select date and here we are going to also store that in orders date that will be stored as a date now click ok let me take this input so this input we are going to take to work with the date functions now in the main page double click on this page because now we are going to pass this value from here and now we have this date this is order collection this is collection but we have a fill name also so pass here and put here dot and then we need to take this order date fill name so that collection name dot this order date now here you can see this value will be a pass as a text data type but we need to convert this to date so that we can pass here so for that we need to convert you need to write here to date now open and close bracket now this value will be converted to date and then it will pass to this one date page now here in the date page what we are going to do so the first function of this date function is let me take here one calculation stage double click and click on date now here we have add days so the name it says that add days if you want to add a day to date then you can use this add days let me click on paste and now this is the syntax this is the expression of add days you have to enter date and then you have to enter that number like how many days you want to add to this date now here I'm going to take value from this order date so I need to replace that with this one so let me take here so now we have add days and then date now how many days you want to add so here you can put here value like I want to add one day or two day or three days so here I want to add one more day to this order state so whatever value whatever date you will get from this input that will have a one day added to this let me store this in a data item that is add days date and now click on create so that will be a dates now put here add days now click ok here we have this output add, a, add days now let me link this here now go to main page right click set next stage right click run to this stage now what will happen it will read this data and currently we have 4 1 2 22 so it will read this data and store this to this collection and once it will pass through this it will pass this date value to that page now let me step into that now you can see here now once it will pass through the start page it will have the date which is coming from that collection now we have this order date as, as a 4 1 22 now here using this add days function we are going to add one day to this date so now we'll have a output that is 5 1 22 so the format of this date is dd mm yy yy so it will add one value to this date so now we'll have 5 1 2022 now the next function we are going to talk about let me delete this 
take a calculation stage double click here now we have add months so we are going to add a number of months to a date now let me click on paste and this is our expression of this add months function so to this date we are going to add month so let me replace this date with this order date now how many months you are going to add to this date so i'm going to add one month now here i'm going to store that to the add months date now let me copy this and paste here in the name create this so this has been added here now let me start from here add days so currently we have ordered it as an input as a 4 1 2022 now once we did it will add one of month to this date our output will be 4 2 2022 because as per this date format we have dd mm y y y y so this 01 is our month so it will add one month extra so now we'll have output as a 4 2 2022 so this type of scenario we always get in our project and you can use this add days add months function to get your desired output now let me show you other function take calculation stage and now we are going to talk about date add now let me click on paste and you can see the expression of this function we need interval we need number and we need date we don't have option to say that what value we are going to add are we going to add month or are we going to add day to this date we don't have that option but we have option as an interval and what is this interval interval is a number but it can represent any type of interval we can say so you can see here this is the picture that is taken from the blue prism and each type of interval is represented by the numbers which is listed below you can see zero interval that says for the date add we have year one that is week two not available four quarter five months like this so if you want to add one year to your date so you can use this date add function with the interval zero if you want to add one week to your date that you can use this interval number one so let me show you with the uh, that is year so we have zero so let me add one year to your date so here we have interval okay so as you have seen that zero means zero interval says that this is for year so i want to add year but how many years you want to add to date so i want to add one year to the date that i am going to input here now what is the date so i am going to replace that date with the orders date now I store that in the date add date now let me create that and let me click ok take this here link this change the name add date add now you see here add months let me set next is here now we are going to take value from here input from here 41 2022 our output will be 41 2023 you can see 41 2023 now if we are going to put here 2 which will add 2 years let me right click set next stage and run now you can see here we are getting 2024 so one function that is date add will work for all the type of adding the value to date so it will also work for add day as a add days it will also work as a add months add year add week like that so like let's say so in this picture you saw that uh, this is taken from blue prism and they suggested that they say that not available but which is this is from the date difference column it says that nine represents nine interval represents day so it means we can use this nine interval for date add also
now double click here and I want to add two days to this date so nine represents a day right a days now how many days I want to add so two days I want to add to this input now click OK and here you will see we have input that is 41222 and we are going to add two days to this input so now we'll have output here 6 set next stage so you can see 6 1 2022 which is plus of 2 day right now I'm going to show you date difference so we have one function that is date difference let me click on this paste now you can see again we have option interval start date and end date so what is the meaning of date diff so date diff means date difference if you want to calculate the difference between two dates so you can use this date diff which will get the difference between two dates now again it works based on that intervals so let me use 9 as a day so that I want I want to get the day like how many days we are getting in a difference of this start and end date so double click so I'm going to use here date uh, day as a 9 and start date I'm going to take as a that is uh, add days date add days date and end date I'm going to take as a uh, that is add a month add month date now I'm going to store that in a data item that will be a number type because it will give us a days so store in a date difference number right here date difference and click this one now click OK let me take this value here now take this here link this here link this here now right click set next stage and now you see here we are getting 30 as a days so difference between this two date is 30 days so by this way we can use date difference and we can find the difference between two dates